I created a Fiverr account and offered to paint any Warhammer model you want for as little as $10. This video is sponsored by the new wet palette from Redgrass Games. Hey everyone, you're watching Squidmore Miniatures, I'm Emil. After watching a video by 1000, I got this idea to create a Fiverr account and offer my service to paint any Warhammer you want for $10. Literally any single one. We'll offer three versions, the one hour, two hour and three hour version of a paint commission. And you can send me any miniature to paint, but I will only paint those amount of hours on that miniature. So if you want me to paint a Mortarian for two hours, I'll do it, even if it's the most detailed miniature in the world. I'll be getting some help from Lucas, so let's just go into the future where we publish the ad and I guess we'll take it from there. So are you ready? Yeah. Let's press publish. Let's just wait and see. Let's post it on the Patreon page first, so they get like a head start. And uh, the Facebook group. The YouTube stories. There we go. Okay. Ooh, we got one. What? Is that seriously a mortarian? I, this is gonna be some fun minis to paint. And to do them in like one hour, three yeah. hours. <laughs> Keeper of secrets. Are they mad? It's gonna be, I'm hyped for this. You did put in the two hour <laughs> yes. limit, right? <laughs> Keep your secrets in two hours? I think it's doable. Yeah, for sure. A knight freaking Castellan. Isn't that like 100 bucks or something? Let's see. $170! Someone wants to send us a $170 model to paint in like two, three hours. Hashtag oh, mad lad. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. Is it doable in three hours though? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> oh, what? Someone sent a photo of a dune crawler. Orc dune crawler. Nice. Okay, that that's yours. You're gonna do that one. Let's flash forward to like four weeks from now or two weeks from now, whenever we get the minis. Hey, Lucas. That is more than one package. Yeah. Okay, all the minis are finally here. We got 12 minis to paint and some of them are looking amazing. Let's see what people asked us to paint and on which miniature they want us to do our thing. I don't know, I'm getting kind of terrified. Which one do you want to do first? I'm thinking of peeling the band-aid and doing the tech marine. It's all yours. I'm gonna do... This is Saint Celestine. One hour. Let's go. Okay, we're started. I was asked to paint a Saint Celestine in one hour. It's a super detailed model and he wanted red armor with black details. Thanks to a red spray can primer, I could do a nice Zenithal base coat to start the paint job. And as per request, we got some metal wings. Lucas' choice, the Tech Marine, was probably the least detailed miniature we're gonna paint during the whole day. But he was kind of smart doing the one that he was least excited about first, so he could be more hyped by the end when he was more tired. Painting it with black armor and red details. And for both of us, one hour is not a lot of time to paint a super detailed miniature. And how did we do? That was the first hour. You happy? Woo! This was kind of fascinating. I stressed way too much. You seemed a lot calmer. Let's do. A grand reveal. So rock, paper, scissors, if you win, we go three hour. If I win, we do another one hour, okay? So, three hours. Who do you want to do? Mortarian, Castella Knight? Mm, Mortarian. Mortarian. Let's go. Again, the red spray can primer have delivered. Saving me probably a few hours of painting time. 
Now we gotta add some metallic details, some white and black armor parts. Lucas on the other hand got Mortarion, probably the best looking miniature in the world, but also the most detailed one. There is so much small stuff on there. This is actually the first time I'm airbrushing and so far I'm really happy with the result. Hopefully the guy who's receiving this is also. This is actually the first time that I'm painting with a brush. Hopefully the guy who receives this is kind of happy. Okay, so halfway through I realized that hmm, metal rims is not gonna look good on this one. Everything just looked like a metal blob. So I had to accept the loss of time and pivot towards gold rims. And when painting Mortarion in three hours, it's gotta be a good idea to paint all of the details on the wings. And was it well spent time? Well, I guess you'll find out soon. So, I think we have like 38 minutes and Lucas don't know this, but we're gonna swap minutes for five minutes now. Y you serious? Yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> So Lucas decided to do my plasma coil and I kind of took the freedom to make his wings green on the edges. Hey Lucas, how's it going? It's going great. They both look really good, but we agreed that with 20 more minutes or so it's gonna look even better. The time limit isn't so we have to finish something in that time, it's more that we're gonna finish this video within a week's time limit. <laughs> so we're gonna give ourselves a few more minutes because we want to make these look a little bit better, so I guess. We'll just continue for a few more minutes yep. and then we'll call it a day. So it's Monday morning and the reaver is actually looking quite good, but I had a vision this weekend that I wanted to do the base to make it look amazing for the grand reveal, so I'm gonna Take a few minutes and make the base and Lucas is gonna do the same for the Mortarion and then we do the grand reveal. Oh, I'm so proud of these. A Titan in three and a half hours and a Mortarion? Are you kidding me? These look amazing. But there's some even cooler stuff coming up, so stick around. What do you want to paint? Uh, let's do the two hour cool stuff. <laughs> cool, the small dudes? Yeah. Okay. Blood Bowl guy? And uh, one of these guys. Let's do it! Okay, so this guy asked me to paint a Blood Bowl orc in a different color scheme than the box art. Outside of that, there was no limitations. Can do. And Lucas was asked to paint this elf dude from Underworlds. And the color scheme was supposed to look like the Craftworld version of the Aira bust. With blue metallic shiny armor. Hmm, this could be interesting. Okay, 30 minutes to go. I still gotta do the orc's face. And then I gotta fix a base that looks like a soccer field. This is gonna be fun. And with that, miniatures number five and six are done. It's time for a grand reveal. Are you tired of your homemade wet palette? Does it get too wet? Is it hard to keep up with? Those of you who've been around for a while know that I've been using my Redgrass Games wet palette since long before I started this YouTube channel. And yesterday Redgrass Games started a Kickstarter with their wet palette 2.0. They've listened to the customers, made the smallest wet palette slightly bigger and they've completely updated the membrane, which is the paper on the wet palette. 
it lets through a little bit less water so the paints don't separate the same way as you used to do when you have the lid on. There's a couple of other cool nifty features, but the big thing for me is that you can reuse the paper. It's super simple. And I've been using this palette during the whole video and we've already cleaned it three times. Let me show you when I clean it the fourth time, how good it's still gonna look. Almost like new. Honestly, it's definitely worth checking out the Kickstarter. We got the link down in the description. Let's paint our next minis. Okay, we're halfway through. We are done with three each, and this is looking quite cool. We found some cool minis that actually go together. This is a Stormcast and a Night Haunt, and these were released in a Star Collecting box. So we thought, let's make a fight. Let's just go. What? Okay, oh. Okay, she wanted me to paint a purple and blue ghost boy with some green fluorescent details. This should be a breeze. It's such a fun miniature to paint. And for Lucas, it's a green and blue stormcast. That's some colors that Lucas normally don't paint stormcast in. So this is gonna be super fun and creative. Making a swirly blue magic glow on the drum and some green underglow. I'm really loving this. And let's get some atmospheric bases to match that. So this one was fun, Lucas, right? Yeah, a bit <laughs> hectic though. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard someone be as disappointed about their paint job during a painting session and then after be as proud about it. I'm the best. Okay, we got two more to go. You wanna do the big one? Yeah, the big one. Let's do it. Okay, we got two big boys. We got this one. Orc converted doom crawler or something. This one's for Lucas. And for me, Keeper of Secrets. Just two hours. Okay, to be able to finish a grim dark Keeper of Secrets in two hours, I needed to take some shortcuts. I started with a purple primer and a gray zenithal highlight. I then airbrushed with contrast paints some greens and browns in there to create a good base and it really got grim dark fast. And Lucas had no limits on the dune crawler, but it was so detailed that he needed to do some tricks to make it look amazing in short time. Starting with a bone primer and then just picking out all of the details. He then used some streaky grime to create a really, really, really cool effect on it. And then it was just up to make more weathering, making cool effects and painting details. In the end, I also had some time to create a really cool looking sword for my Keeper of Secrets. This has to be the one that I'm most proud of out of all of the miniatures. So that was probably the one that I'm most proud of. How about you? Yeah, I'm really proud of it as well. But before we reveal it, we're gonna finish the last one. This is a one hour paint job. I got an orc and you got... Night Goblin. Epic. Let's go. I was asked to paint a 35 years old orc model in a Bad Moons color scheme, meaning a lot of yellow. And Lucas had a classic Night Goblin with a red hood. What a nice matchup. Half an hour in, how are you feeling? I'm feeling quite confident that my eyes are giving up on me, that I probably will not be able to finish it to the level that I started, so some parts are gonna look great, and some are gonna look quite bad. I'm the best, so this will be awesome. Okay, 15 miniatures to go on our last miniature. We've had so, so much fun. We got to be creative, we got to try out new things. This was just one of the most fun I've had in recording a video for a long time. You know 
So, how fun was this? It's much fun. <laughs> it was so much fun and we got to do so many cool minis in such a short amount of time. We're already seriously considering to making another one of these videos, but for it to make sense to do that, this video needs to be a hit. And if you want it to be a hit, you have to smash like. That way YouTube will recommend this video to new people and it will pretty much get viewed to a lot more people. So I guess if this video gets like 20,000 likes, I think that's a good reasonable number. We'll make another one of these and you have the chance to be part of the next one and get your miniature painted by us. With that, I guess we'll get on to the grand final epic reveals. So that's it. Thanks again, Redgrass Games. Don't forget to check out the new wet palettes and new paper. And a massive thanks to all of my patrons. You guys are amazing. With that said, 